Hi, this is Christoph and Thomas from Promovix, and in this screencast I'm going to demonstrate to you our new um, knowledge management features that we built for Open Atrium. Starting with our bookmark trail. Bookmark trail is a, a little uh, feature that uses Repopulate module um, to grab the text that you selected and um, put it in a URL and then submit that to Drupal. Um, it's not contributed yet, but um, it will be sometime soon. Um, now to show it in action, I've already created um, a problem here. So bookmark trail allows you to just go and create problems, um, and then um, once you've done that, you go back. You can go and drag this bookmarklet into your toolbar, and then when you go and search the web, um, for example, for Twitter wall. Okay, so for example, on this page, say this piece of text is actually interesting. So let's submit it to our system. And say Twitter scrolling wall URL looks fine. Okay, save. And um, you keep repeating that a couple of times. Maybe looking for something else. That this is interesting, also. Okay. That's basically how you can go and add a couple of solutions to your problem. And uh, when you go back to your bookmark trail, you'll see them uh, appearing there. Now. And the next feature is our graph mount. Now, graph mount we've demonstrated before, um, so I won't go too much into details there. But uh, let me just do a quick recap. Basically, it allows you to um, create a mind map. Test. Um, okay, save. Another. And. Um, in in the mind map, you can just go and edit uh, nodes. So you can also add um, add drop item, for example, a node, a source. Say for example this one, and then um, add views also, and it will go. Add those things. That's it. Um, and you can save it and then share it with other people. So you could also, for example, use it to um, pull in all those uh, items that you created here. And uh, you can even see those data here. You can go and reorganize it. So, for example, you could use this to do your research and then afterwards make a like a mind map of all the all the, um, the research items and like reorganize it and maybe use it for preparing a meeting or something like that. So, but that, that was uh, something we already showed before. So, the next feature is faceted insert and faceted insert allows you to use a faceted search to insert uh, pieces of text into um, a text that you're working on. Uh, it's integrated with our resuming editor. And uh, to show you how that works, I've got here this post. When you go and edit it, um, you see here this insert button. When you click that, it gives you um, a bunch of keywords where you can, for example, say, uh, like, so let's say Amazon. Okay. And um, here you get results. Say for example, okay, I want to insert this bit here, and say maybe there's some more stuff that I want to insert. Maybe you want uh, something about with big editors. Go and insert it. Yep, and um, when you escape. Go back to your thing that you see. Okay, I did it twice. 
can see that the text got inserted. The next feature uh, in the list is our Semantic Quiz Big Editor. Basically it's an RDFA markup editor that allows you to add um, RDFA properties uh, and values um, using a WYSIWYG editor. Now we've got a demo up there about that. Lucky when we go back to our text from before, um, you could say like, okay, this is this is about um, permanent storage. That's way too technical for for normal people. So it's technical. Um, this WYSIWYG best practices sounds like documentation. And maybe that's a ticket, right? So when you go back, check the text, you can see that a span has been added uh, with a property. Voila. So in that way, it makes it really easy to add uh, RDFA markup um, and maybe even values. Uh, once you've used the WYSIWYG editor, um, you can use the semantic filters and layers combo um, to do some really cool visibility settings and like uh, select the CSS switching and depending um, on, on the select box uh, that we've got. The uh, way it works is that we use a Drupal filter uh, to add um, CSS classes to um, certain patterns like uh, um, things that are marked up with a certain property, things that have a certain value, and then um, some JavaScript magic to toggle between, um, um, like on and off. You can see that working in here. So where you can, for example, where you click highlight here and hiding code stuff. So and if you go into the edit, then you can see that that's because this bit, this bit here, has a value tag. That bit here has the value code. Uh, and uh, that's the end of the screencast. I would like to give a special thank you to my colleagues who coded all this stuff. Um, Tamash, Cornel and Peter. With a special mention for Peter who has been working really hard on getting this um, to, to a, a demoable level. Um, and um, if you get in touch, if, if there's anything in here that you're interested in from a project that you're working on, um, we would love to help you with that. Um, thank you.